This is Efren Reyes, Thug Life. Hey, you're pretty lucky. Yeah. God almighty. Uh, I know, and you don't make the ball, how can you win? Can you give us a smile, Earl? Come on. Not really. I don't have nothing to smile about. This is the International World Open 8 Ball Championship in the year 2006, held at Reno, Nevada, a total purse of $3 million. The largest event in the history of Q Sports. This is a dramatic match between two legends, Efren the Magician Reyes versus Earl the Pearl Strickland. Watch the change of atmosphere as Earl Strickland struggles to get back on the game as Efren Reyes plays 8 ball pool flawlessly, calculating every shot he makes while employing genius and strategic layouts. Earl, do you ever get intimidated playing someone like Efren Reyes? Uh, he won the last IPT event. It's got to be a little intimidating to play him. He's intimidated me uh, many a times, and, and, and so have I intimidated him before. And, uh, and I think Efren feels a little more pressure when he knows I'm playing well, right? So this is going to be a good match. Play well. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Period. Break good. Play well. Efren Reyes leads 5-4 to four in the race to 8. Two giants of pool, lots of money on the line. Efren Reyes on the break. Efren does not break the rack very hard but somehow always manages to make a ball. He hits the rack very well and controls the cue ball to be on the center of the table. In this way, he will have a lot of options and select carefully which group of balls to shoot. In this rack, the ideal group would be the solid balls. A friend makes the 6 ball on the side pocket and as you can see all the solid balls are in the open. He makes a 3 ball on the corner while sliding perfectly above the 7 ball for position. He chose this layout because the 4 ball can only go on the longer corner pocket. He made a nice shot. Wow. Man. Perfect. Yeah. He by making the 4 ball on the corner, Efren has no other problematic balls to deal with. Now he is only 2 balls away from the last 8 ball. I want to get behind that. So he just kind of rolls the ball up. For years of experience, Efren always starts the rack by solving the problematic balls first. Then the easy balls get follow. The center of the table, which is what he's done. He's and so far, it proved to be so effective and he always manages to somehow get out of the rack, even how difficult it may seem. The magician Efren Reyes with a 6-4 lead against Earl Strickland. This is Rock 11, Earl Strickland to break. Yeah. Wow, he was going right in the corner, you see that? Ball. Strickland breaks the rock with good power, but is struggling to make a ball. Now Efren steals the opportunity and will have to handle this rock. Easy layout. That's actually the only shot he has. He actually tried to hit the orange ball there. He's this is a fairly difficult rack as Efren has no choice but to go for the strike balls. A great factor to consider is also where the cue ball landed after the break. In this case, his only option in the opening shot is a strike ball. He's going for it right away. Oh, he missed it again. <laughs> Was that why he put that extra little kick on that ball yes. to get it up table? Efren tried to accomplish two things here. Make the strike ball on the side pocket and break the 8 and 10 ball to open it up. He fails to somehow break the balls but will be attempting again in this following shot. He's gonna draw into the orange ball. Now see, he hit that perfect. Finally, after now attempting three times to break the clustered balls, Efren finally you know freed the 8 and 10 from the 5 ball. Shot. Very tough. Look how good he hits oh. this shot. And position, don't forget the position. Efren made a great long shot on the 10 ball and got perfect position on another stripe ball. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wow. Did you see that little English go around that ball? Watch this. He goes two rails, and watch where the cue ball is going. He has so much English on the ball, it just gets by that ball. Wow. Isn't that something? That's why he's the magician. It was one of the reasons why Efren Reyes is very successful. It's because he has a superb control of the cue ball. He can manipulate the speed of the cue ball very well and controls it with pinpoint accuracy to where he exactly wants it to go. This is not a hanger, but six to five. This will make it seven to five. Both players are undefeated this round. Efren Reyes, pool legend, Hall of Famer, and big stakes gambler, looking like a pretty good bet here. He leads Earl Strickland seven to five. Playing for the cash, they're playing for the glory. Reyes with the break. 
This is Rock 13th, Efren Reyes on the break, and he is now on the hill, one rock to go to win the game. Unfortunately, no balls are potted, or else Strickland now has the chance for a comeback. No, I mean, this match, you know, I mean, Earl can win this game 7 6, his break. I mean, Efren doesn't have to shoot again. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Earl Strickland always accused Efren of being fortunate and could not get over it. This is a mental and an emotional barrier for Earl Strickland because it directly affects the way he thinks and the way he plays. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe he did that. Ball in hand what he does Efren. here. What a shocking scratch from Earl Strickland. Trying to go in between those Aren't two balls glad. and scratches, case closed. I'm and so I can't glad. believe he did that. As Strickland shoots the strike ball, the cue ball bumps off an object ball and goes directly into the corner pocket. If Efren runs out this rack, he will win the game. All the solid balls are in the open now without any problematic ones and easily out for the magician. If uh, Ephraim is one of these guys that can change his speed in any game. In an eight ball, you just cannot do that. You have to take your time in a lot of situations, look and study the table. Another reason why Efren Reyes is very accomplished is that he does not rush or play fast unnecessarily. He takes all the time he needs. He plans and studies the table very carefully, working with probabilities, choosing the right shot at the right time, and a meticulous decision making. Play the one. Now he's just going to play this ball and probably follow down just a little. I think I heard Earl reaching for his car keys. Look well, at he, look at, look at Earl. Yeah, look he can reach for them now. For the game and the match. Efren Reyes pockets the last 8 ball and an 8 to 5 win over Earl Strickland. Now Efren Reyes moves on to the next round. Hey, you're pretty lucky. <laughs> God almighty. Uh, I... No, you don't make the ball, how can you win? No, I'm talking about some of the rolls you got. Oh, and Earl calling Efren lucky there. And, you know, luck is a part of the game, but here at the IPT, skill has become much more a factor. A few moments later. It's before this match, and you're out there looking for crackers, was it? I mean, you're so calm, cool, and collective. How do you do that? You really had to bring that up. That's amazing. Uh, I was just taking a walk. Taking a walk? I'm tired of being in here, but... Uh, Are you well, focused? I really don't care. Can you give us a smile, Earl? Come on. Not really. I don't have nothing to smile about. Earl, what was it like playing Efren Reyes? Well, you saw what happened. He's making mistakes and getting away with it. And you're celebrating that, so I don't know. Or he's naturally just a great player. Yes, he's just the greatest. He's a better human being than me, a better person, a better player. I'm, I'm a villain, I guess. Is that what I am? Is that the reason I lose? We actually enjoyed watching that game tremendously. Oh, somebody over here, act like he made a stop shot, act like he did something great. He was fortunate. So, you can take it any way you want. He was fortunate. What do you need to do to win this tournament? I can't win the tournament. Obviously, you saw I don't have any luck. Well, good luck. Good luck? How can you tell me good luck when I don't have any? <laughs> Contrary to what Strickland thinks, Efren is not actually fortunate or lucky as they say. In reality, he is an 8 ball pool legend. He is a 4-time World 8 ball champion. In 1995, 1996, and 2000, he is the PBT World 8 ball champion. Near the end of 2004, Reyes beat Marlon Manalo to become the very first ever, first ever WPA World 8 Ball Champion. With the win, he became the first player in the WPA history to win championships in two different disciplines in pool. He also won the IPT World Open 8 Ball Championship over Rodney Morris 8-6, earning a staggering $500,000, the largest prize money tournament in the history of bucket billiards. With his titles, he is nowhere near fortunate. He is just the greatest player of all time. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to Efren Reyes TV. Stay safe. God bless everyone.